Primark. You always sell me dreams. Hey girls, I'm La La Love and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be doing a Primark haul. I know you guys really love my Primark hauls and I did a poll on my Twitter. Are you following me? If not, make sure you do that. I'll be linking all of my social media below in the description box. So as I said, you guys asked for it. I did a poll and Primark won, almost by a landslide. So no more dilly-dallying, no more long talking. Let's just get right into the video. So I've got these two really heavy, big Primark bags. And let me tell you, that Tottenham Court Road branch is so big and it has all the goodies like all of them that is my favorite one to go to but it's just like out of the way but listen it's worth it i just hope everything fits me the way it should because that's the main issue i have with primark clothing <sighs> so let's see pray for me i'm gonna need it okay first up we have this really cute suede full suede dress like t-shirt dress this is giving me all kinds of full vibes and that's why I chose it. I never really wear browns and like caramel colours and mainly because that's the colour of my skin tone so I feel like if I wear it, it clashes but looking in the mirror, it's not too bad. It is still very close to my skin tone. It wouldn't be a true autumn haul if I didn't throw in a little bit of brown just so you guys can see what options are out there. I got this in a size 20 and it's only £13. It's really soft, it's comfortable, it's got a gold zip at the back that I haven't managed to zip up. I can't be bothered. Um, <laughs> I already get so hot as it is filming these videos, so I thought let me at least give myself some breathing space. It's really comfortable, it's a good fit, but I think a dress like this is supposed to be, you know, not skin tight anyway. And it's a stretchy material, which kind of surprised me. I didn't think it was going to have stretch in it, but it does. And I love that about this dress because it gives me extra room for, you know, my arms and my bust. And, you know, it just makes it feel really comfortable. So, so far, it's a win. We were off to such a good start. And I saw this and I was like, ooh, I can make such a cute office chic look with this skirt and blouse when I saw it in store <sighs> it doesn't even fit on my arms that's why I'm having to hold it like this like this is just devastating do you know how cute this blouse is <sighs> I'm so mad because look look this is cute look at this look just just look this blouse is in a size 20 why doesn't it fit my arms why 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 Primark, you always sell me dreams. I'm so tired. I'm too tired to even drag you. Just look at how cute this is. This would have been a whole look. A whole look. Size 20, yeah? Who are you lying to? Ooh, I can't, I just can't deal. Like, these kind of materials, they always just do the most. It's like they put the smallest amount of material, no matter what size it is, and I just don't seem to understand. Like, are times hard that you need to cut back like this? Like, <laughs> like Primark, you're rich. You don't need to be doing this, okay? Fat women, fat people deserve to wear cute blouses like this too, okay? Get your shit together. <sighs> Anywho, you can see what I was trying to do here. The skirt is fabulous, also in a size 20. And let me move this out of the way. Since this doesn't fit, let me just show you what the skirt looks like with another top. So I got this jumper in a large, which is a 14 to 16, because I didn't want it to be baggy. I wanted it to be really close to my body and fitted. And I'm glad because this is the perfect fit. And it's cute. I just wouldn't want to wear it with this skirt because it's too much. You know, if I'm going to wear hounds to top and bottom and these for the exact same print, Whereas obviously this is a lot bigger and this is a lot smaller. Let's just focus on the skirt for a second because she's real cute. I love the button details down the side. She fits well. 
you know, uh, the zip is at the side, the invisible zip, and that's hard to do, so I had to do it at the front and then twist it around. So that just proves that it's enough room to do all of that, or else <laughs> it would have been no hope. You know, the, the only way I'd be able to do this up if it couldn't move like that is get someone else to help me, and that's long. Some of us live by ourselves, some of us just can't be bothered to always ask people to get dressed. Like, it's a lot, okay? Like, come on, stop it. This jumper, like I said, feels really comfortable, really pretty. I love that the design is oversized. I've never seen a houndstooth jumper with an oversized print like this. That's why I picked it up. I wanted to pair it with a skirt that I've got, so I'll put that on in a second. I just think she's a good little bargain. I think she's £13, and that's decent for a soft, woolly, stylish jumper. Now, I actually can't tell if this fits or not because I can't zip it up. The zips at the back and twisting it around would be the most. So I'm going to try and zip it from the back. Oh yeah, it fits. I mean, it could probably go that last little bit, but that's just long to do it. So she just fits. She's not tight. There is room, but it wasn't enough to twist it around and zip it and twist it back. Nah, I would have been here all day. So yeah. Fits fairly well, looking cute. This is the look I was going for with this jumper. I wanted to do something with like a plain black skirt just so the focus is on the print up here because what I just had on was too much. It was too much. She ready. I could even like style this with like a nice little belt. Maybe I've got something. Maybe something like this, a little gold buckle pearl something you don't have to but it's just like an idea you know you come on my channel you always get tips and tricks so yeah like that's cute and instantly it looks more expensive like the look looks more ooh she's going somewhere or ooh stylish ooh she knows how to accessorize yes i do yes i do hire me she cute or whatever and i'm really feeling this look and this is really comfortable the more i wear it the more i can feel you know i can move about in it comfortably and you know do certain things that i shouldn't be doing on youtube but yeah i really really like this look okay next up we have this denim off the shoulder dress real body hugging delicious and just doing the damn thing now this gives me summer vibes low key low key Hikey, but I feel like it depends on how you style it. I mean, you could put a, you could pair this with a tan brown boot, you know, maybe a cowboy style, maybe a matching hat, and a leather jacket, and you got yourself a, a little fall cowgirl style fit. Do you know what I mean, for example, that's why I picked this up because I think it's very versatile. You could go from autumn to spring to summer maybe not necessarily winter because the legs are all the way out and i wouldn't pair this with tights i feel like this isn't the kind of dress that tights would look good with unless they're flesh colored but um i mean it's up to you really but i i wouldn't do it i just really like the design i love a good off the shoulder as you guys know the outfit always looks extra good when you put your shoulders on show like I mean, am I lying? I'm not lying. I couldn't zip it all the way up because I couldn't reach that high, but it's stretchy material, it fits well in a size 20, and the price, the price, the price, oh my god. Uh, the label, the label's small, but yeah, I'll have all prices and info down below anyway. Again, I just think this is really cute. It's put me back in a good mood, and I love the little lace up DL here at the front. Let me just tie it and show you guys. So the thing about this, the material is so thick that it never sits like really well. But looking in the mirror, I still look cute, okay? Tell me something. Fight me. I still look cute. Next we have this really long, and that's why I'm not wearing bottoms, just to show you how long it is. Plus, I don't even think I have any plain leggings that are, are about right now. So, yeah. But anyway, this really long Disney-inspired Minnie Mouse jumper. I love the colour, of course. And I've never bought anything Disney from Primark. As you guys may know, they do a lot of collabs with Disney throughout the year. And with Harry Potter, especially the Tottenham Court Road branch. So I saw this and I was like, ooh, that looks so cosy. Like, something to lounge about in at home when you get really cold. So this is how I'd probably wear it around the house, to be honest with you. I mean... 
yes and i do have bottoms on like don't play me but yeah i just think that this is something to be really like cozy and cuddly you know with you know with your water bottle or a mug of something at home so that's the vibe it was giving me if i have something like this on i'm not gonna want to wear bottoms because this is enough heat like this it's so warm it's not even thick but because of the material it's so warm and cozy and cuddly so yeah i'm just showing you how i would wear it but you don't have to wear it like this okay you don't have to come and judge me and talk shit in the comments this is how i'd wear it if you have a problem with it you can click out the video i don't care about my haters and if you want to fight me then fight me <sighs> ran over but yeah i really like this this was 14 pounds i got it in 18 to 20 and i'm glad because i wanted it to be you know oversized and really you know there's a lot to it i could even pull it lower but it won't stay because of the stretchy material that's in it but i kind of wish it was a jumper dress like like a small part of me wants it to be a little bit longer just so i could wear this as a jumper dress because i think i'd be so cute i'm giving you mini and i'm feeling real cute in this let me tell you i am so happy that this fits on my arms like i knew it's gonna be loose here because it's that kind of style but i was a little bit worried about my arms because we know how proud i car when it comes to this kind of shirt material i love this dress it's different to what i've like probably ever worn ever in life i've always tried to get into these kind of styles but they're so hard to find in my size or something that's in my size but doesn't fit me saw this loved it like i normally like to take the two I normally like to take the back and just tie it so i normally do that normally something much looser than that just to keep it out of the way and that way it kind of like brings whoop, more attention to my bust which it definitely did so yeah that's how you can make it like tighter without tying it at the front and then if you want to wear it at the front obviously you can so i guess most people would just do this and tie a little something something like that but i'm not crazy about that to me that just looks yeah it just looks weird so i prefer it out of the way or you can obviously take it off completely um which is a little piece of thread there that they keep sewed into it if you don't want to lose it but if you want to have the freedom of taking it on and off you can if you do decide to i've got a belt that i've bought in case you wanted to do something like that and make it more jazzy and zazzy and weird and wonderful this is basically nightgown chic and i feel like if you wanted to you could also take the buttons from the bottom and just open them up just to show some more leg giving you angelina jolie red carpet style leg this is how i would definitely wear it with you know that outer door with nice thigh high boots yeah if you wanted to tie in a little knot you could do that have it to the side if you want or you could bring it back to the front like just play about experiment do whatever feels right but she feels really good she's in a size 20 and she's 15 pounds a little bit steep but i understand the material is probably fairly expensive but is she worth it yes because this would be a lot more money elsewhere so go get your coin and get yourself one of these because it feels so good on my body back at it again with the black leather and she has what pockets you guys know how i feel about dresses and skirts that have pockets like that is life to me for someone who doesn't wear jeans very often i only recently got back into jeans and i'm still wary of them because having fibromyalgia putting on jeans is really difficult so i wear a lot of skirts and dresses because they're easy to put on and let me tell you just because i'm wearing a dress doesn't mean i don't have things to put in it so i need pockets on this bitch <laughs> so i'm so happy it's one of the reasons why i got this dress because it looks so chic and yes these pockets are deep as hell like my whole half of my arm fits in this pocket stop it don't play me so yeah i love it it fits really well i've got in a size 20 and it's 15 pounds again it's leather so it's you know fair enough that it's that price and that's not too expensive again considering what it would be in asos and river island and all the other places on the high street but she's real cute real cute it's a little 
button at the top that I'm not going to bother to do up. I feel like you could accessorize this in so many ways. When I tell you there were so many things that I could pair this with when I was in store. They were giving me backpack, they were giving me beret, they were giving me belts. Listen, almost bought everything in that section. It was that real. But I did buy a few things just to show you how you can bring this outfit from a 6 to a sexy 100. I've got this belt and this beret. Cute, right? Listen, this belt is like got a like a velvety finish and pearl studs all over it. It's so beautiful. I was like, I have to get that just to experiment and see how it's gonna look. Because I can really see so much potential in it. I think I got a size too small because it can't. What size did I get? Oh, I think I got a large and I should have got an extra large because I don't think it's going to go round. No! Yeah, should have got a bigger size but you can see what it's doing. You can see. You can see. <laughs> but all isn't lost. Don't think it, I've still got the belt that I showed you guys earlier. Very similar just that the pearl design is here. And this was also in a large and it fits so I don't know why that one doesn't. Again, you see <laughs> the same size but different lengths you see that you see that mm -hmm. why, why do they do that i find that so bizarre so yeah anywho she's still beautiful you can see why i picked her up but she doesn't fit all the way so with this one again like what i did earlier doesn't that look good yes yes giving you waist and then with a beret with the same pearl detail just pop her on, on my big head. This is what happens when you when you rush. This is this is what happens. I don't know if this can fit over my wig. And this is a one size fits all kind of thing. And it's not stretchy. <laughs> I'm always having trouble with hats. This is why I really buy them but right berets are normally quite flexible but yeah you can see how it's supposed to look I just put it flat like that yeah kind of <laughs> it looks like a mushroom <laughs> you get the idea <laughs> for those that don't have big heads you can you can see what I'm working with okay you can see that it, it's not working but yeah for you if you've got a head that's shaped like a pea it can work but me I don't so I'm so sorry I could also pair it with this belt, so again, just on a little chain, I'm not going to bother to do it up, but you can see, it just adds a little bit of glam, just a little bit of rich bitch, you know, tell me, tell me this doesn't look fab, tell me I'm not giving you Chanel on a budget, you know I am, with this pearl, <laughs> giving you Parisian, <laughs> giving you it can't fit on my head, but we're still going to show you. Don't you love <laughs> get into it <laughs> thank you so much for watching this haul i really hope you enjoyed it i can barely breathe i almost stopped doing hauls like this because when i tried to film a halloween one it wanted to kill me so yeah i'm glad i got through it with my breath still intact barely please thumbs up this video i put a lot of work into it <laughs> And make sure that you've subscribed. I shouldn't have to tell you twice, okay? Hit that subscribe button. Show me some love. We're almost at 1K, okay? I deserve to get paid for my videos. I do. Make sure you check out my other uploads before you go. Mm -hmm. They're all over here. They're here. They're everywhere. Look, click, okay? Click and get your life. And I'll see you in my next video. Kisses.